Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the six principles of COVID. Now, what is COVID? That's the first thing we need to know. COVID is control objectives for information and related technology. So what is that? That's what it stands for. It's a framework. It's framework. What's the framework used? Framework is sets of rules. For what purpose? To help companies manage their information and technology governance and management. These principles are globally accepted. In other words, these are globally accepted principles, practices, tools that's going to help companies run their IT from a management and a governance perspective. Now, specifically for COVID, we need to learn about the six key principles. So notice these are principles. Now, each company will take those principles and will apply them to their company specifically. But the six key principles are meeting stakeholder need. In other words, COVID provides six principles that help companies does what? Manage their IT governance system. What does that mean? It means it helps them run their company. One of the key principles, meeting stakeholder need. Covering the enterprise end-to-end. -end, tailored to the enterprise needs. Enabling a holistic approach. Separating governance from management. And dynamic governance system. Now, if you know anything about Farhat, once I have a list, I will go over each items, each principle of these lists, explaining the principle, give an example so you have a better understanding rather than just memorizing. Because on the CPA exam or on a professional exam, you need to know the key principle. Maybe they will give you a scenario and will tell you which key principle applies in the scenario. This is what we will do next. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with principle one, which is meeting stakeholder needs. What is that? Here, COVID focuses on meeting the need of all stakeholders by aligning the IT it means the same direction IT and stakeholder with the overall goals of the organization to create value now the first thing is who are the stakeholders now if you don't know who the stakeholders are then you don't know what this principle is trying to achieve the stakeholders could be anyone that's interested in the company who could be interested in the company obviously investors customers government suppliers employee regulators those are stakeholders don't confuse stakeholders with stock holders stock with an o stockholders are the investors stockholders are only part of the stakeholders so stakeholders is simply anyone that's interested in the company's well-being somehow they are connected to the company pretty much everyone except i would say the competition so COVID, what, what we try to do, we'll try to align the stakeholder with the IT. It means the IT system should serve the stakeholders. And the IT system and the stakeholders, obviously, overall, they're going to be working in the same direction to create value for themselves or for the organization. So this is the meeting the stakeholder needs. Now, keep in mind, one, one of the things that we need to that, that we need to be comfortable with is the idea that communicating effectively with the stakeholders. Simply put, we need to communicate effectively so they understand their expect, so we understand and they understand our expectation and concern and keep them informed of progress and any issues that arise. So the one thing we need to do is with the stakeholders is communicate with them. Why? Because stakeholders, they have particular needs each stakeholder will have different needs. What are the needs of the stockholders, stakeholders? Well, 
as I mentioned, each group will have different needs. Now, these needs, they could be explicit, like stated explicitly, or they could be implicit. For example, what are the need for the investors or the stockholders? The shareholders, the investors, the people that own the company, they're interested in driving the stock price up. They want to create more value. That's their need. And that need is usually explicit. Even if it's not explicit, it's implicit. Customers, what's the need for customers? Usually, if they want to buy the stuff, they want you to have it available and they want to have quality product. The government, what's their need from you as the company? Their stakeholders, they want their payment. They want the tax payment. That's their need. Suppliers, what, what's their interest in their company? They want to be paid, timely payment. Employees, what's their needs? They want a job safety, job security, work-life balance. Regulators, and they want good pay as well. Regulators are interested in public safety. Now, here, here are the needs of the various stakeholders. And what we're saying is, COBIT says that when you have an IT system, it should serve the need of these groups. Now, keep in mind, oftentimes there is, not oftentimes, sometimes there's a conflicting needs between these stakeholders. What do we mean by that? Think about the goal of the investors versus the goals of the employees or the government. But let's, the employees, it's more obvious. What is the goal of the investors? The goal of the investors, if we're, if we're working toward their goal, is to generate more sales and create more profit, which is create shareholder wealth. On the other hand, what's the employees what's what do they want to do the employee want to be paid more if they want to be paid more that's going to conflict with more profit because they want to be paid more they want uh, job security investors said no that let's pay the bare minimum so we have more profit for ourselves so keep in mind there's a conflict between the the various stakeholders now obviously COVID they're saying is you need to manage those conflict. Same thing with investors and government. Government wants to collect the most amount of money. Uh, the stakeholders, you know, that's not their interest. They want to keep the, the, the maximum amount of money. But what are the goals for each group? Just kind of get you an idea. Customers, they want customer satisfaction. They want good product. That's And the enterprise goal is to do what? Serve them. From the government, yes, they want their payment, but also from a an IT perspective, from the from the company's perspective, you want to have no errors, no delays, so you don't incur any penalties when you file your taxes. So you want your IT system to make sure will give you appropriate reporting, which in turn, when you file your taxes, the numbers are correct. Suppliers, they want to maintain a friendly relationship. For example, for suppliers, the goal is to connect them to your system so they know, they know how much inventory you have so they can supply you on time. So that's why they keep you keep a good relationship with them employees the goal of the enterprise is to increase their retention keep them now their goal is to get as much money as possible from the company regulators what do you want to do you want to be in compliance as a, as a as an accounting information system you want to be in compliance because regulators they look for your need now keep in mind that the goal of these the goal of the stakeholders and the goal of the enterprise and serving the stakeholders will change over time. There are cultural changes, technological changes. So those are not set, but those are the general rules. Now, keep in mind also that COVID-5, which is the, the COVID that we're talking about, has 17 generic enterprise goals that are tied, not tried, tied to the balance scorecard. So simply put, what we're trying to say is this the enterprise goals whatever they want to achieve as an enterprise using their IT is connected to something we call the balance scorecard and by connecting those two we are looking at a holistic approach which we'll talk about in a moment but the IT department goals to serve the enterprise is to do what for example for investors you want to have security and availability so when you process sales people are comfortable submitting their credit card Providing capacity when you have busy season, people are logging into the system, like during the holidays, you provide that capacity. Customers, they want their information to be secure, security and availability. They, they want the system to be available when they log in. Ease of use, it's easy to check out, easy to go in, buy the product, check out. So the IT department goals, notice some of them, they 
you know, they uh, they overlap. For example, for government, you want proper alignment between the accounting information system and the tax return. It means when you have the accounting information system, it feeds this information properly to the tax return because we want to make sure we are reporting the proper numbers. Notice for suppliers, security and availability, have an enterprise resource planning, connect to your supplier, employees, securities and availability, capacity, ERP system, and regulators, you want to make sure you're in compliance with regulators such as HIPAA and data privacy, which we'll talk about in separate recording. But the point what we're trying to, the point of this slide for meeting st stakeholder need is you have various stakeholders. COVID tried to align the stakeholder need with the overall goal. So I showed you what are the need for the various stakeholders, what is the enterprise goal, and what's how would the IT department use this information. I know I spend a little bit more time, but it gives you an idea because we have many, many stakeholders that we have to worry about. So this is one of six principles. The second principle is covering the enterprise end to end. What does that mean? Kind of we kind of touched upon it indirectly. But refer to the idea that COVID should cover all aspect of the IT governance and management across the whole organization. It's a comprehensive approach from strategy and planning at the high level to implementation and operation at the low level. So COVID should do what? Should look at the company from an overall perspective. So you should have an IT governance, IT aligned with business goals. So you have business goal. Usually those are... Um, those are declared or those are issued by the board of directors, stop management. Well, IT should align, should serve those business goals. Also, you should have IT management information system for management. Now you have the goals. Now you want to manage and deliver those goals. So you have an IT management process that manage and deliver and support of IT services. Then you have IT operation process that support day-to-day -day operation. So simply put, COVID, should look at the big picture, the medium picture, which is IT management, and day-to-day. -day. It should serve all of those. For what purpose? To ensure that all these activities, all these IT-related activities, are managed in a coordinated and consistent from development of the IT strategies and plan to delivery of IT services. So everything should be integrated from end to end. This is the purpose of this. Also, COVID principle three state, you should tailor to the enterprise need. Now, each enterprise is different. Each company is different. There's no. Now, let's take a look at a multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com. Which of the following statement is true about COVID? So notice we have three false one true. COVID separate governance from management. Is that a true statement? Mm, yes. And you have to know this. Basically separation of duties. The people that set up the system and the people that runs it, they should be separate. Say A is true. Let's look at B. Merges them? No, it doesn't merge them. COVID only addresses technical aspect of IT? No, not only. Not only a technical means they look at the software, the hardware, the server. They look at the technical as well as non-technical aspect, processes and policies. So C is out. COVID only addresses non-technical. No, it addresses both technical and non-technical. And it separates governance from management. The point is you want to make sure you are familiar with the six principles of COVID. How do they apply in the real world? Whether you are studying for your CPA exam or some other professional certification or accounting information system, go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, that's going to help you. Invest in yourself. That's the best investment you can make. Good luck and study hard.